myths or truths of PLM. So PLM can enable effective maintenance and asset management. Is that true? That's not an easy one. I was a little bit controversial, but I would say this statement is true. I would say the statement, the last statement is clearly true. Uh, myth or truth? Uh, yeah, also, I would say here kind of in between. Well, <laughs> that might be a tricky one. because uh, it has uh, some implications on how we actually historically look at a PLM software and what does PLM do versus an enterprise asset management solution do. So I would say yes, it definitely has an impact on uh, effective maintenance and asset management. You could really argue now, okay, how, how do you distinguish be between PLM and separate enterprise asset management functionalities and what do you use when and so on. But probably that <laughs> will take a little bit more of a, a, yeah. a discussion. So that's case by case then? Yeah, I would say it's a case by case. That's a very interesting one because PLM is perceived more as an, engineer, as an engineering tool and not really related to asset management. Of course, these are two disciplines, uh, PLM and asset management, but of course they are very much related. So I would say this statement is true right because plm is all about the management of products and the operation of these products the asset management of these products is part of it so i will a little bit controversial but i would say this statement is true so plm is certainly one asset or one one part which clearly supports an effective asset management so if you think about what the term plm means product lifecycle management it's all about the end-to-end -end life cycle of product data we provide the visualizations for consumption and asset management or the, working, the, the visual work instructions for effective service management. So I would say the statement, the last statement is clearly true. So I, I would say it's in between. PLM is supporting hmm. uh, effective maintenance and asset management, but it's not fully responsible and enabling it. So it's a part of it. It's a part of our yeah, complete digital supply chain process. We call it design to operate and design is the starting point and operation maintenance and asset management is the, the the last phase so they have really a connection but not only it's a yes and no um, because plm also uh, can play here a very important role um, to connect it uh, really from from d2o right but it's not the only thing that is of importance here uh, for the doing effective maintenance and asset management so i would i would consider it as a kind of in between